G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's an algebra question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. Let a, b, and c be real numbers such that a minus 7b plus 8c equals 4 and 8a plus 4b minus c equals 7. So yes, this is an algebra question. Um, okay, we've got two equations and those three variables. The question is, what is a squared minus b squared plus c squared? Okay, all right, well, I'm just going to do something. Strategy number two, just do something. Well, my first something is to write down the two equations. I need them. a minus 7b uh, plus 8c equals 4, and 8a plus 4b minus c equals 7. And I want a squared minus b squared plus c squared. All right, the first thing I notice is that I want something about things with squares in it, and I see no squares in my original equations. So that's just telling me, um, don't know if it's going to be helpful or not, but I want to square stuff. I want to get squares in this somehow. So let me just square the first equation, and I'll square the second equation, and hopefully something clever will come out that I'll see what a squared minus b squared plus c squared is. Don't know if it's going to work, or just try it. All right, so I'm going to square this beast. a minus 7b plus 8c squared would equal 16. So to square that, it means I have to multiply a minus 7b plus 8c by itself. So let me just quickly, I like drawing rectangles, I'm a very visual person. This is really a, negative 7b, and 8c gets multiplied by a, negative 7b, and 8c. So I'll get an a squared, I'll get a negative 7ab, an 8ac, an a, a negative 7ab again, a 49b squared, very scrawly, this is very dreary, but just keep doing it, negative 56bc. Uh, uh, 8ac, negative 56bc, I hope I can read my handwriting next, 64c squared. So the first equation is a squared minus 14ab uh, plus 16ac uh, plus 49b squared minus, oh gosh, 112bc, I have to read that correctly, and 64c squared equals 16. Oh dear. Okay, I'm seeing an a squared, I'm seeing a b squared, but it's 49 of them, and I'm seeing a c squared at 64 of them, and I've got all these awkward cross terms in between. Okay, well I guess I can do the same thing for the second equation. Um, you know, I've done, I've done these things a bit in my life. I actually can see what the answer is going to be without drawing the picture. Let me just write down the answer. It's going to be 64a squared plus 16b squared plus a c squared, and a whole bunch of cross terms. In fact, you notice I always get two of the cross terms, so these guys will cross, will give me what, uh, plus 64ab. These two will cross, give me what, 16ac. These two will cross, gives me nine, uh, minus 8bc, would equal 7 squared, 49. Okay, you just watched me do a whole bunch of uh, gory algebra. Again, I've got a squareds, b squareds, and c squareds, but they've got crazy coefficients to them. And I just don't know if this is helpful. I actually don't know. Actually, I don't like the cross terms, because this has no cross terms in it. All right, OK. Well, I'm not convinced that was actually helpful at all. Hmm, so I'm sort of sighing and trying to think again. Um, I want to do something. I want to do something. What can I do? Well, OK, I, I can't help but notice this b squared part, and what I'm shooting for, is negative b squared, whereas a squared and c squared are positive. There's something different about the b squareds. I'm wondering if I should make something different about the b's at the very beginning. In fact, OK, OK. No idea. Again, this might be another false lead. But if I put the b's away from the a and the c's, so I wrote, say, a plus 8c equals 4 plus 7b for the first one, and take 4b on that side, 8a minus c equals 7 minus 4b. Maybe if I squared those, I'd get some a squareds and c squareds over here. Oh, I would get a b squared over here, which I can then like, bring back and get a negative b squared. So at least it might have, might have this form. I don't know if it's going to, going to or not. And maybe if the thing gets really crossed, that will help out, work out. Oh, actually, look at this. I think something's going on. Look at this, a coefficient of 1 and 8, a coefficient of 1 and 8, a coefficient of 4 and 7, and 7 and 4, the symmetry going on. Oh, I suspect there is something to this. Okay, that looks too good. This looks really nice. All right, I'm feeling hopeful. So I'm going to invite you, actually. Square both sides here, and then try to do something to see a squared and a c squared with a b squared on the other side. Does that indeed give me an actual value for this quantity here?
Because if it does, we've solved the question. And if it doesn't, I guess we just take another deep breath and try something else. So think about this question. Give it a go. Does this lead to a good path? Does it not? Can you get to a good path on your own? And when you do, eventually, persevere, let's compare answers. Compare the answer that you get with the answers in the video, the essay that goes with this video. All right, have fun with this. A lot of algebra, but, but persevere. This is actually good stuff. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.